Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So, for today's video we're going to be doing a challenge that I'm probably going to regret doing. We're going to see for one whole week, oh there's a real fox, we're going to see how hard is it really to look after every animal in the game, or every ownable animal I should say, within the space of a week. So it's currently Sunday at 8am, so my sim here Cindy is going to spend an entire week trying to manage a household with several animals. So, so far we've started off with my creator sim animals. I've got my horse here, Pancake. We also have a fox called Turtle. I also have a dog and a cat, Pumpkin and Tammy. And a raccoon who's um, sitting at the top of the animal cage, I think hoping to try and get some dinner and eat the hamster. This is Doodle the raccoon, Hammy the hamster, Thimble the mini hedgehog. Whiskers the rat and Bubbleus. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. I couldn't even tell you what the fuck that is, but it's part of the family. We've also got some birds as well, and hopefully a little rabbit. Oh, there it is. There's our wild rabbit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and name it. Oh shit, I think I might have two rabbits. So this one will keep her name as Daisy. And then this wild rabbit we will call will keep the name Fluffy. So I guess we've got two rabbits. And if that isn't enough, we're also gonna fill these animal sheds, so we're going to get one cow. Is it only two animals you can get? Yeah, cow and a llama. So we're gonna go ahead and get a spotted cow for this shed, and then we're gonna get a llama for this one. I haven't even really began, and I already feel like I'm gonna end up pulling my hair out here, but never mind. Obviously we've got to give these animals a name. The cow can be called Moonlight because it's got the word moo in it. Llama can be called Adam. And then over here I've got my chicken coop, so I should probably fill that up. Probably get one of each. Yep, one of each hen, rooster and chick. And then this little pen right here is actually, you know what, I forgot to buy this. I need to get one of those community boards that we got with the horse ranch pack because I'm gonna fill that pen with little sheep and goats. Okay, animal exchange, buy mini goats and sheep. So there isn't actually a limit on how many of these I can get, but I think maybe let's just do two goat, two sheep. So we'll get a little white sheep, gray goat, cream sheep and a black goat. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna go over to this pen and then release my little mini animals in here. How hard can it be? Huh? How hard can it be running a farm? So we'll place our little minis in here. There we go. No thanks, welcome wagon. I can't deal with your bullshit today. Can't you see I'm busy? I've got my hands more than full. Okay, and then cream sheep is right there. All right, sweet, so I think first things first, I've got my dog, my cat, and my raccoon, and my fox. So these are all their food bowls, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill them, just to make sure we've got what we need to keep them fed. Let's start by doing the food, shall we? So then we'll feed Adam, we'll feed Moonlight. Bunny's probably gonna be a bit peckish. Oh, no, they're going inside, okay, fine. In which case I will, do I have anything I could gift them? Maybe, maybe further down the line when I start like getting some wool and some milk and stuff, then maybe I can gift them some food. And then Pancake, obviously Pancake needs his food. Her food. Her food, sorry. Already getting them confused. And then my chickens, I'm gonna scatter a load of food nearby. And then we'll see if we can feed some of these babies. This is gonna be a hard life, but you know what? It's worth it. Where the fuck are Oh no, my mini animals are just roaming around. I don't know where White Sheep has gone. God damn it. White Sheep has got in with the chickens. You guys, you guys are ruining the order of everything. Fine, fine. Okay, everyone's being fed. Oh, so cute. Maybe I should name Cream Sheep Delilah. I don't know if I'm gonna get, is that, oh, is that dog taking a shit in the chicken's house? Oh no, he's scared. Oh, he's scared of the chickens. <laughs> oh, pumpkin. Uh, yep, Aries, that will work for grey goat. I wanna try and name as many animals as I can. Just, you know, to make them feel like they're loved. Bit cruel to name them like tacos. Name white sheep, 
Mary. Tiny Rodent Big Adventure. Whiskers was thinking about you during its travels and brought a postcard back to share. Yeah, I did notice there was like a little sign on Whiskers stuff here that he'd gone out. That one's content. Whiskers activity is low. Hammy is content. Thimble is content. Is th I hope you're not thinking about trying to eat them, raccoon. Just make sure all the little critters have got their food. Right, everyone has been fed. So I don't have to worry about their needs. Their needs are taken care of. So now let's just see who I can get stuff from. So Adam is ready for shearing. Moonlight, you ready to milk? Milk Moonlight, okay, great. I'm not gonna sell their produce. I'm kind of thinking what I might do is use their produce to build up a stronger relationship with my, my rabbit and my birds so that they feel comfortable in their new home. Six beige wool, okay, perfect. How's my horse doing? Pancakes is doing fine. And I think my mini animals can give me some produce as well. Um, we'll milk you. I'm gonna milk my two goats and then shear my little babies, my little baby sheep. And then also I'll see if I've got any egg. Do I have any eggs? No eggs, okay, fine, that's fine. Six bottles of milk, Jesus. Well done, Moonlight. I mean, so far, this is, you know, peaceful. Calm before the storm, I think. Oh no, I've got a bad, I've got a bad relationship with Whiskers. Why is that? I might feed him a treat and then talk to him about his day just to see if I can build up that. I want to have a, a positive relationship with all of my animals. Why are you thinking about worms? Are you worried that there's going to be worms in the milk? Two bottles of milk. But it's like listed as 10 bottles of milk. I can even divide it between cow's milk and goat's milk. Right, is there anyone here that hasn't been named yet? White hen hasn't been named. Go for nugget. And I don't think the chicks have been named yet either. Little sunflower. A little baby onion. These two are not getting on. The cat and the fox, they are not friends. Okay, we've got a green relationship with whiskers now. I'm just gonna go over to all my little, my little cage animals and just ask them all about their day. What the fuck is the horse doing in the house? Christ's sake, pancakes, come on. There is not room for you in here. You can fuck off as well. Why are you coming to my house? I told you, no thank you, welcome wagon. Send home, I have my hands full. Oh, I do love how all the animals are just mingling though. They're just, they're just happily roaming from one enclosure to another. That's kind of sweet. You know, like they really see each other as siblings, you know? Cute, cute. Oh, I think the dog needs to pee. Okay, I'll go and ask him to go outside. Go outside and go to the bathroom. Come on, pumpkin. Not right here though, outside. Good boy. Or girl. I can't remember. I think pumpkin's a girl actually. Oh shit, I didn't buy a litter tray, did I? I am so not prepared for all these animals. Right, I wanna I want them all outside. So I'm gonna stick a litter tray out here. Four pet beds. And you know what? I may as well push the boat out and give the cats a scratching post as well. Perfect. Okay, you've got beds, you've got toys, you've got litter trays. You guys are well catered for. Why are you researching genealogy? You don't have time to look at your family tree. You've got all these animals that you have to take care of. We've got to lecture the dog about barking so that he knows. Don't do that, pumpkin. Oh, turtle's drinking the dog's... Oh, turtle, come on. Oh, the rabbit. Okay, let's see if we can give the rabbit... Um, let's give the rabbit some milk. I want to try and befriend this rabbit. I could also give it some wool. Some cute little beige wool. Anything else I can gift it? That's about it for now. I, I think two gifts is more than enough for this wild rabbit. Oh, didn't like the milk. Okay, let's see how he feels about the wool. She likes the wool. Okay, good, good. Cindy just became good friends with Turtle. And I can see our needs are going down slightly, so maybe I'll just quickly have some vegetable dumplings and then take a shit. And while you're doing that, I'll do a quick scan. Sheds are clean. Moonlight's doing good. Adam's doing good. Birds are fine, rabbit's fine, horse is fine. How are the chickens doing? They all seem okay. None of them are hungry or starving or anything like that. Okay, day one, I think, turning out to be a huge success. I don't know where my mini animals are. Oh, here they are. Mary's fine. 
Oh, here are my mini animals. They're watching me cook. Okay, well, they're all doing good. And uh, Raccoon is sleeping on the counter. But that's fine. Raccoon, he, he doesn't really give a shit. He just does what he wants, doesn't he? And the cat's decided she's scared of the cooker. I don't know. I don't want to talk too soon. But so far, this seems to be going well. Um, I'll tell the fox to go outside. No real major issues. I don't feel like I'm juggling too much right now. You know? Everyone seems chill. Everyone seems cool. The minis are all happy. So I'll send my sim to the bathroom and then I guess... Oh, look at that goat hopping. Very, very cute. I suppose I could maybe give a gift to the birds. Give them some milk. And then I could gift them maybe a little bit of wool. Build up some strong relationships. Oh, the birds didn't like any of the gifts I had to offer. Okay, fine. Oh, there's the grey rabbit. Okay, let's see if it... Why... What has happened to that dog? What have you done, pumpkin? Oh, man. Look at the state of you. You desperately need a bath. Just as I thought I was about to turn in for the night. Give bath to pumpkin. I suppose I kind of asked for that by having a dog that roams freely in a field. Come on, then. Let's go. Everyone else is pretty good. I think once we've finished bathing pumpkin, we could just go straight to bed. Why are you sad? Oh, Cindy unintentionally scared away the birds with a difficult question, but hopefully they'll come back soon. Oh, she's so upset about that. Okay, the dog is washed. Probably a good time to get some sleep. And then we'll see how we get on tomorrow. But so far, you know, day one, happy farm. These animal sheds are going to be a pain in the bollocks, though. They're going to get dirty every day. I remember when I played through a week of running a farm... It was literally like every day their sheds would get dirty and the chicken coops as well were a nightmare. But she's up at 4am. I'll let her take care of her needs quickly. Ready for a day of working on the farm. Raccoon is my favourite so far. He just does what he wants. Take a shit, take a shower. Hey, no getting up on hind legs in the house. Okay, 5am. We're going to start off by scattering feed nearby, collect the eggs... Clean the coop and then we'll scatter more feed because chickens aren't very good at sharing. Takes a couple of times, a couple of times of scattering before they all get fed. So I'm going to try and use a bit more of a system this time. I'm trying to go from, from one enclosure to another. So, so first things first, we've got chickens. No eggs collected. Great, great. What do I fucking feed you for, lads? What do I feed you for? Second on the list are my mini critters. Okay, attention and activity are both low. That's a shame. Feed treat, ask about day, talk to. So I think my mini critters are all doing okay. They just want a bit more attention. So that's fine. I will just, whoops, not, I didn't mean to say yell at. I'll just go around and have a little chat to all of them. So my chicken should all be okay. Pretty sure they all are. I can see fucking pumpkin over there getting messy again. Bathing that dog is going to be a daily thing, isn't it? Oh, how is Thimble's activity low when I just spent time with them? Okay, chicken's done, mini critter's done, I need to clean Adam, feed him, clean his shed. And then once we've done that, we'll move on to Moonlight, we'll clean her up, feed her, clean her shed. Oh no, look at the state of these mini animals. How have you gotten so dirty so quickly? Oh man. Okay, fine, fine. The horse is doing fine though. Pancake's not dirty at all. So I guess we'll just try and take care of Adam. Adam seems pretty happy now. Clean, fed. Be great if we didn't just leave these piles of trash lying around. But, I mean, do what you got to do, I guess. Okay, they're all happy. My mini critters, literally, they all... Oh, wait, what was that? Clean all dirty mini goats. Yes. And then clean all dirty mini sheep. You guys. Oh, the little sheep are unhappy. Don't worry, we'll clean you guys up. Pretty sure my household pets are okay. There isn't really a way for me to see their needs, but I, th I think they're fine. They seem fine. And then once we finish cleaning all of our mini sheep, we have to also feed all of our mini animals. Where did the other sheep go? Oh, there it is. And now the horse has low hygiene. So I guess I'll clean his hooves. I don't know, I still feel like this is not too overwhelming. I mean, it's still morning. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. And pretty much everyone has been fed, washed taken care of and I think also I can get some produce from all of these now milk my goat shear my sheep where did the other goat go 
That's the thing. It's not not a problem taking care of these animals. It's trying to fucking find them all the time. Oh, is that is that my goat right there? Yes. Okay, I'm going to milk that. Three eggs ready to collect. So I'm going to collect those. Shear my llama. Milk my cow. Oh, Whiskers has been doing some help for science. Oh, well done, Whiskers. I think, yeah, Adam's ready for shearing. Moonlight is ready for milking. And then I think my last port of call will be to gift the bunny and the birds. I want to try and see if I can build up some kind of friendship with these animals as well. I want to be friends with all of them. Whether it's realistic to become friends with every animal on my farm, I don't know. But, you know, we'll try. We'll see. I feel like it does make a difference if you're mates with your animals. So I'm going to give a little gift to the birds. Oh, wait. Take gift offered by the birds. Aww. They gave me something back. So they don't like drinks. They don't like wool. What about an egg? Will you like an egg? And then I've got to keep my eyes peeled for the bunnies as well. What did the birds give me? One mighty plant milk. Ooh. Cindy has befriended the flock of birds. Oh, I think I see the rabbit over there as well. I'm going to take the gift offered by Daisy the rabbit. And then we will give... Well, I know she likes wool. But I have to offer a different type of gift, apparently. So I guess we'll go for an egg. See how Daisy feels about eggs. She gave me some green wool. Oh, ah, thanks, Daisy. Well, she doesn't like eggs. Okay, fine. Well, I don't really have anything else to offer you, Daisy. Sorry about that. I mean, our needs aren't too bad. I guess we could take a quick shower. Maybe have some dinner. Or have some food. We'll just have a sandwich. Take a shit. And then see if we can befriend some of our animals. Maybe we'll try with the chickens first. So let's go for... We'll start with the brown ones. I think it would be pretty cool if we could end this week having, like, a friend relationship with every animal on this farm. Oh, Pancake's hygiene is low. I'll clean, I'll clean her hooves. Okay, now we'll try and socialise with my black hen and my black rooster. And then maybe we'll work on our relationship with our white chickens. I think these relationships are kind of slow building, but I can at least, you know, ask them how they're doing. You've got to start somewhere, right? Oh, Whiskers has gone on another... Jeez, he's always going out, Whiskers. Whiskers is the most outgoing little creature I have. Constantly going on vacation, that thing. Um, I'm going to collect the eggs from here and I'm going to clean the coop because it's already getting slightly dirty. Oh, we just became good friends with Doodle and good friends with Tammy. Right, well, I think... Oh, no, is the dog filthy again? Oh, we'll ask him to go potty, and then we will we'll give him a bath. We'll bathe Pumpkin, and then I think also we should probably bathe Turtle as well. I don't think Turtle is that filthy, but we've bathed Pumpkin twice, and Turtle hasn't really had the same attention, so we'll do them both. Oh, he's uncomfortable because he ate... Oh, okay, I'm going to lecture him about that. And then we will take a quick shower, and we'll go to bed. Oh, full-time job this. Full-time. Every hour of the day, it feels. But it's a new day. We're up before four again. We'll have some cereal. I'll wash that plate up, I guess. Cindy, if you can't be bothered. How's the pet food? Still full. Okay, they all have food. Oh, little black goat is starving. It doesn't even have a name. We'll give him a name and then we'll take care of him. Right, we better feed him and then we'll clean him as well. Bless him, he's so unhappy. We're, we're gonna smother him with love. Poor little guy. Yeah, all right, rooster, shut the fuck up. We all know it's wake, it's 5 a.m. Okay, happy and content, good news. The chicken coop is already clean, so all I have to do is just scatter some feed nearby and the chickens are done. My mini critters have got low attention. So I'll queue up a few social interactions with them, a few little treats. How are you doing, Pumpkin? You seem like you're doing just fine. Okay, and then you guys, you need a clean a feed, clean shed. Horses hygiene is low. So i got to remember to clean the horse as well. I do feel like we've got a bit of a routine, though. We've got the order that we go around, all of the little enclosures. And then we've got a little bit of a schedule as well. We've got the mornings, which are for needs, and then the afternoons, which are for collecting produce. Now, where are my little goat and sheep? Here's one goat who is hungry and unhappy. Where are the sheep though? I hope they haven't ran away. Okay, I found Mary. She's hungry and she wants some attention, so I'll take care of her. I don't know where my beige sheep is. Oh, there they are. Okay, perfect, perfect. 
And then as soon as we finish taking care of the other, other animals, I think we'll just have, we'll have a quick sandwich to fill up our hunger need. And then we'll go around collecting our produce. Everyone seems happy. We run a tight ship on this farm. Very tight indeed. The horse came over to sniff my sandwich. Okay, so let's go around collecting everything we need. So we've got to get some wool, some milk. We'll do the mini animals first because they're kind of harder to keep track of. And they wander around everywhere. So we'll do them first. Do we have any eggs? Three eggs. And this coop needs cleaning as well. Oh god, it never ends, does it? Never ends. There's always a job to do. The dog is already fucking filthy. Already. Good on Cindy though. She's just getting on with it. You know, she's just getting through everything she needs to do. Milk the cow. Shear the llama. That's what we like to see. A sim just getting on with it and doing it. And then I think we will offer a gift to the... Oh, we'll take the gift offered by the birds. And... Did they actually like the egg? Yeah, they did like the egg, but I've got to give them something different. So I guess we'll try milk again, I suppose. The horse has got low hunger, low hygiene. Oh, his little food thing is empty. Oh no, I'll have to refill his feeder. And then, oh no. <laughs> and then clean his hooves again. What did they give me? Some chocolate milk. Very nice, very nice. Got to keep my eyes peeled for the rabbit so I can give them, give the rabbit their little gift. Everyone cool? Everyone cool up in here? Yeah? I think everyone's pretty cool. Oh dear, I think these might need cleaning out. Clean habitat. Yeah, they're all getting a bit dirty. Let's just clean them all. Apparently they already have food, so that's good. And then I think maybe we'll call... Oh, there's the rabbit! We'll take the gift offered by Daisy, and then we'll give her... What should we give her? Well, she likes wool, so I'll just give her some beige wool and then i think we're gonna call it a night i think we're gonna turn in because poor cindy man she's been getting up at the crack of dawn oh cindy just unlocked the cross the cow cross stitch pattern very nice we've now befriended the rabbit thimble brought me a postcard happy days my animals are happy i've got a load of stuff in my inventory yeah this is not going too badly at all actually not going too badly at all think we just keep up with the routine maybe by the end of all this I'll um I'll sell all my produce and see what that what it was all worth all my rodents are like partying and doing experiments okay we're gonna jump in the shower and then start our day we're gonna do our rounds like we normally do I feel like we've got this this is like second nature to us now we're basically on autopilot mode we've got six eggs scatter feed scatter feed collect eggs clean coop and then that will be the chickens done hammy is very hungry i thought you guys had food all right fill food these guys are the next on the list anyway so we'll fill food tell secret have a little chat to all my little rodent buds oh hammy's starving apparently man these animals these little miniature animals you literally have to interact with them every single day otherwise they just get depressed right we've gone through all of them so they should have fairly good okay they're all happy with their attention good good sunflower has grown up into a hen oh okay chickens done mini animals done your turn adam we're gonna feed you clean you clean your coop or shed even and then moonlight gets the same treatment we run a very efficient ship here. I'm going to be so happy if we get to the end of this week and no animals have, like, ran away or abandoned us. That will make me very happy. How's my horse doing? Doing good. Fairly low hygiene, though. So I'll just come and clean his hooves. Oh, pumpkin. Pumpkin again. Okay, none of my chickens are hungry or anything. They're all doing well. Oh, what's wrong with the cat? What's wrong? You okay there? Maybe if I pet you and give you a treat? And then we'll see how the goats are doing. They seem to be okay. Oh, there's my other goat there. Don't scowl at me. Be good, Tammy. Oh, this is such a nice little community we've built here. Our little animal community. And then once we finish... Oh, time's up, Thimble. Anyone seen a rodent? <laughs> Don Landgrab is looking for payment. Oh, dear. My hamsters have been taking out loans that they can't afford to pay. Horse still doing okay? Yep, pancake is still fine. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I think we're almost done with, like, the caring part of all this. So we should be able to go around collecting our wool, our milk, and our whatnot. 
Any eggs? No, but the coop is getting a bit dirty, so I'll probably... Oh, I think maybe there's one egg in there. And we'll clean their little coop as well. What should we give the birds today? Well, they like eggs, so I'll just give them an egg. Oh, <gasps> you little shit. The way Pumpkin literally just knocked over that trash can. Do I have a... Do I have a gift from Daisy? Yeah, I think so. I'll take my gift from Daisy, even though she doesn't seem to like much of what I give her. Do I have a gift from the birds as well? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool, cool. I'll accept that. Whiskers is very hungry. Why? Which one's Whiskers? Okay, we'll fill up their food. Well, the cat seems to be in a mood about something, so I'm gonna ask what's wrong. What's wrong, cat? Oh, well, you have a litter tray right there, so you can take care of that. Um, what did we start making mac and cheese? Tammy would like a nice clean litter box. You've got a nice clean litter box, Tammy. It's right there, Tammy, right there. Nice and clean, just for you. Honestly. Oh, the fox is filthy as well. Oh, this is starting to get on top of me now. It just never seems to end. I get them all happy, and then one of them gets annoyed, gets annoyed about something else. Barely get the chance to finish my mac and cheese. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna eat our mac and cheese. We're gonna take a shit. We're gonna bathe our two filthy dogs. Then we're gonna bathe ourselves. Then we're gonna go to bed. Let's just try and restore some order here, shall we? I mean, even though it never seems to end, I still feel that this is totally manageable. You know, we've got a little routine going on. We go through our list of tasks that we have to do. And it seems to be working well for us. I don't feel like I'm running around like a headless chicken, you know? And it's all peaceful. Everyone's asleep. Ugh, just as I started to say that, now we've woken up. Great. All right, well, collect eggs, scatter feed, clean the coop. You know the drill better than I do at this point. Horse is doing good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. My chickens are all good. Pumpkin has learned to pee outside. Oh, good. And my fox is filthy already. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to let them enjoy being filthy for a while. And then I'm just going to get into the habit of washing the dog and the fox at the end of the day. So they can spend all day rolling around in as much mud as they like. Happy, happy. Okay, cool. All of my mini animals are happy. Oh, my name keeps popping up at the pub in Finchwick, apparently. Oh, my raccoon seems a bit sad. I better give them a hug. Oh, pumpkin. The state of this dog every day. And then Delilah. Where did my other white sheep go? Oh, here you are. Smother tin can with love. And now I just need to find one more goat. Wherever it is. Where did my other goat go? Animals, man, they are just impossible to find. Oh, here he is. Okay, perfect. Should probably take a look at our needs before we start getting our produce. Oh, the doctors have thanked Hammy. God, what good Hammy is doing in the world. And then maybe we should take a shower. Getting a bit hungry as well. Probably have a quick meal. And then clean this place up, because right now, it's a state. You need to take some pride in your home, Cindy. I mean, for fuck's sake. What kind of ship are you running here? Okay, we're a bit later than I thought we would be. But you know what? I don't think I need to worry too much about getting produce for today. I've got plenty. I've got enough to offer gifts to my little animals, so don't really need any more. How's my horse doing? Low hunger, low hygiene. Okay, I better refill the feeder and then clean up your hooves. Find out what gifts the birds have offered me and we'll give them an egg. Where did Daisy go? I haven't seen her around for a little while now. Oh, complete a hundred whims. Okay, pretty sure I already done that, but fine, fine. Thought it was you. Well, the birds have given me a catfish, so I'm gonna give the fish to the rabbit and see if she likes it. And then I'll take the gift offered by Daisy. And you know what? I'm gonna use some of this spare time to socialize with my chickens, see if I can build some kind of friendship with them. We're slowly becoming close, me and my chickens. Oh, it's 6 p.m. already. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do, probably gonna end the evening by bathing my filthy dogs. And then, mm, her energy's still pretty full though. How are my rodents doing? They all seem to be okay. Oh, this chicken coop, dirty again. Collect the eggs, clean the coop. And then I think we're gonna go to bed. Friday morning. So this is day six, I think. And we've had no major stresses, really. No major dramas. Things have been pretty chill. I have just noticed, however, that 
Tammy is looking a bit under the weather, so I'm gonna have to take her to the vet. And I gotta ask Turtle to go take a shit outside. Oh no, my goat is filthy. Oh man, okay. Well, first things first, we have to deal with Tammy. We gotta, we gotta take her to the vet. All of these cages are filthy. Today is going to be a very busy day. Take to the vet clinic. Come on, Tammy, you gotta get looked at. Let's go. Oh, right, Pumpkin, yeah. you're in charge, oh, okay, so while we're away. Oh, poor Tammy. Let's take her to the hospital. Okay, uh, sign Tammy in for curing sickness. Right, vets, if you could pull your finger out, please. I do not have all day. I'm a very busy woman. A vet will be with you soon, okay. Okay, I think Tammy's going in. I think this is Tammy's little checkup room. Stop complaining, Tammy. We'll go for the best treatment money can buy, all right? Don't you worry, Tammy. Looks like Tammy has Winterfest fever. Okay, let's just get it cured. Soon as possible, please. Okay, all done? Perfect, back to normal. Right, Tammy, let's go. You were very brave, well done. I might give her a treat, actually, when we go home, just for being so brave. Okay, I'm just gonna pause so that I can queue up a load of stuff. So first of all, we have to give Tammy a treat for being so good. My chickens are all hungry, so I need to scatter some feed, collect eggs, clean coop. Okay, get the ball rolling on that. Clean habitat, have a little chat with these guys. Okay, so I think these guys should all be happy now. Yeah, okay, perfect, perfect. Chickens are all happy, okay, okay, great. Clean and feed Adam, clean his shed. Okay, back into the swing of things. That little vet trip barely caused a disruption. How's my horse doing? Pretty good everything except low hygiene. Still got a load of food, that's good. What about my goats? Tin can is fine, Aries is dirty, okay. Okay, slowly, but surely we are getting through this load. And also, I will point out, this has actually not been that difficult. It's mainly just been about time management, but it's not been stressful at all, actually, raising every kind of animal for a week. Haven't used any needs cheats. And I say that because I always make a point of saying that if I don't point out that I haven't used any need cheats, usually it means I have. But no, haven't needed to use any. This has just been very, very chill, you know? Been able to fulfill everyone's needs. Had no one run away, no one throw any strops. I think Daisy might have a gift for me, so I'll go and take that and then maybe I'll give her a little something. Oh, someone's pissed on the floor. Smother Mary with love. Where did my other sh- Oh my god, the horse took a shit in the living room? Can I scold him for that? Is there a way for me to tell him off? Oh, you little fucker. Okay, all my sheep, all my goats, fed, watered, given attention. Maybe I'll check in on the cats and dogs, actually. But everyone else seems to be doing pretty good. I need to exchange gifts with the birds as well, can't forget that. And also, I think we're a bit hungry too, so maybe we'll grab a little sandwich afterwards. Uh, Pancake, you are not welcome here, you knobhead. You cannot be trusted to not take a shit on the floor, you need to leave. We also need to take a shower. And I haven't really collected anyone's produce yet. So let's clean the coop, collect the eggs. We'll get some goat's milk, we'll get some wool. And then obviously we gotta exchange gifts with the birds. Oh, pumpkin. I might just call all of these animals to eat just to make sure that I know that they've eaten. We'll quickly take a shit and then we'll bathe those dogs. And then, Cindy, I think you deserve to call it a night. Today's probably been the toughest day, but I think that's mainly just because of the disruption of the, the vet visit. Oh, the fox needs to pee. One of these animals is really hungry. Which one is it? Bubbleless. Okay, fill food. Fill food. Just fill everyone's food. Oh, Turtle has learned to pee outside. Oh, good. And now I think it's time to get some sleep, finally. And the cats are just going to sit on my bed watching me. All right, Saturday morning, our last day of running the farm. I'm kind of happy about that. I mean, like I said, it's not been particularly stressful, but it's just, there's not really been any time to relax. You know, I feel like I've got my eyes constantly on the ball. But you know what? I'm hoping for a fairly carefree day. We'll just follow our routine, get the chickens done, get the little animals done. Chickens only take a few minutes. 
I'm going to go say hello to all my mini critters in their cages. Clean Adam, feed Adam, clean his shed. I feel like I could do this in my sleep now. Oh, Moonlight has woken up and she's not filthy. That's the first time so far, Moonlight. Good for you, good for you. Oh no, no, just like that, she's become dirty. Who washes a cow every day? Well, I suppose, I suppose most farms just let them stay dirty, I guess. Okay, let me just check. Are these all happy now? All happy with the amount of tension you've had? Okay, good. How's my horse? She's always in a good mood, the horse. She's, I, I feel bad because I barely pay any attention to her, but she's just really good at entertaining herself. You need to fill, refill her food tray, refill her feeder. Right, I need to tell off that dog for playing in the trash all the fucking time. And then I think we've probably got time for a quick dump and then we could take care of our little sheep. This is just harmony, just so peaceful, relaxing. I have no idea how much money I've made though. I suppose this video isn't really about that, but I might like, just for the sake of curiosity, because I haven't sold any of the produce I've taken from these animals. Out of curiosity, I might just um, set my finances to zero and then see how much money I make from selling all my stuff, all my produce. I think Cindy has had enough because I think she's just standing still in protest. Okay, all of my animals are happy. All that's left to do is do the gift exchange, wash my dogs, and then enjoy my evening. I suppose I could milk Moonlight and then, and then shear Adam's wool and then milk these little critters. See if I got any eggs, do I? Four eggs, okay. I I'll come collect those then. Then I'll do my gift exchange with the birds. They like eggs so they can have just an egg. Daisy the rabbit round here anywhere? I don't see her anywhere, but that's fine. I still have plenty to do. I need to bathe these filthy dogs, take care of my hunger need, and then go to bed. Oh, an anglerfish. Oh, very nice. Coming towards the end of our week now, and, um, you know, I'm actually surprised. I thought that I was going to... Oh, you little shit. I thought I was going to regret this. But actually, I really haven't minded. This has been... This has been fine. No real stress. I've kind of enjoyed the challenge of having to manage my time well. But, I mean, it's been fine. When I ran a farm for a week, that was a lot more stressful. And that was because I had, even though I had far fewer animals the last time I ran a farm for a week, I did have a lot of stuff that I was growing. And I think the gardening element just made it so much more stressful than just taking care of animals. These guys are pretty chill. We've got a great unit here. And now Cindy, off her own accord, is tending to the little animals. Just as we come into summer. Oh, there's, um, there's Daisy. Let's see what she bought me today, and then I'll give her a gift. What does she actually like? Oh yeah, I'll give her some white wool. What did she bring me? An obsidian egg, Oh, I kind of feel sorry for these animals, you know, the, the rabbits and the birds, because they give me far better shit than I give them. But I think probably now's a good time to test how much money we've actually made from all this. I've got five vitality fertilizers for 250 simoleons. Five super vitality fertilizers, two chocolate eggs, although they're now spoiled, an orange egg, nine hatchable eggs, 22 egg eggs, 26 lots of beige wool. Oh, we're making a fair bit actually for one week. Got some bags of shit here as well. What's this? Oh, the obsidian egg. Yeah, we'll sell that. The anglerfish, chocolate milk. I mean, we've not made crazy money. But we've not done too badly. We've made enough to probably cover the bills. Three and a half grand. What's the cost of the bills for this place? 1,143. So, you know, we can definitely keep ourselves afloat doing this. It's not going to be a life of luxury. We're not going to be draped in Gucci. But you know what? For a simple farmer's life, this, this suits us just fine. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. This has been quite a fun challenge. I would recommend it to anyone who has all of the packs or all of the packs that contain all of these animals anyway. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.